Have you ever noticed, Greg, that uh, <laughs> you've got your computer and it seems to get slower and slower with time? And it might be your imagination and you're wondering, maybe it's the software is more demanding and it needs more resources. But then the day comes where you don't buy a new computer. You just reinstall the software and magically everything and magically is faster. Everything is faster. Yeah, I have noticed that actually. Because that happened I've to you. That very recently. <laughs> PCs are like, they're, they're like anything else that you own that you have to maintain them. And it is really easy, particularly with the modern style of sort of all-in-one PCs, all-in-one desktops, to just turn it on and do your thing with it and just go on from day to day. My, my most recent PC was eight and a half years old. And aside from popping in a better video card seven years ago, I never did anything to it except for maybe blow out the dust. The problem is I never reinstalled Windows. I never cleaned up those hard drives. I never made sure that I had drive optimization going. So there are tune-up things. So what are some of the, the big tune-up things that we could do on a uh, PC to keep it both current and healthy? So there's actually programs that are not specifically anti X programs, anti-viral, anti spyware anti-ransomware, anti-malware. There's tune-up programs. Um, there's a couple of them out there, uh, like CCleaner is one of them. Okay. And uh, there's another one called, uh, um, it's coming to me, uh, Advanced, uh, Sy screen, AS, yeah. <laughs> Advanced System Cleaner. Advanced, <laughs> anyways, that sounds to familiar. Me. We'll put it we'll in put the it description. The so anyways, um, what they do is they actually go through your PC, and they scan it for junk files, uh, registry fixes, they, they'll defragment your hard drive if you're into that, but generally speaking, people don't do that with solid state drives anymore. Right. Um, and they, they do internet boosting and they do some tweaks, but honestly, just having that piece of software goes a long way. Like well, it Windows, really does. I mean, Windows creates junk. junk files. I mean, they're useful at the time, but eventually they're junk. Um, if you've ever noticed, an installation of Windows 10 is only around 85 gigabytes or so. But after two years, it's three or 400 gigabytes. <laughs> so, you know, every piece of software you install, whether it's one of those things you shouldn't have clicked on but did anyway, or whether it's real software, at some point it's adding files to Windows, adding elements to the registry that are not always cleaned up when yeah. you uninstall that software. And more likely, you just never use the software again and it's still there. That actually, on that point, is fun. I, I, I say, is my is favorite to go into tool. the uninstall app and just go through all the programs yeah. and go, huh, uninstall. Now, nope, never use that, uninstall. And if you do that, you'll go a long way to saving both the amount of space that you've got on your drives and the amount of work that Windows is doing just to start up in the morning. Oh yeah. It will be faster in the long run. There you go. Quick tip. A good tip. Do some tune-ups for your PC. It's just like your car. You gotta do regular oil changes. You gotta check those brake pads. You gotta check those fluids. Same thing with your computer. And occasionally check the temperature of your CPU. It might be running a little warmer than you thought. <laughs> Dust off, it's a good thing. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe to get more. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.